The objectives of Rock Eye 2102 were to take what the OPT, our operational planning team, had done there at Little Rock as we thought through this lead wing construct. In today's environment, we have to think about how not just to present forces within theater, but how to fight to get into the fight and fight to stay in the fight. Rock Eye 2102 is really about projecting forces here in the Volk Field, the CRTC, and demonstrate that we can operate expeditiously in and through a contested environment. After projecting ourselves out of Little Rock Air Force Base and a phase one inspection, our time here at Volk Field has really been about an experimentation phase. We're at the early stages of experimenting with lead wing concepts across our Air Force and leading the way for AMC. Some of the things we've learned are the importance of being agile, thinking through how this organic capability that we have within the C-130 is capable of projecting forces into these immature theaters and then taking the fight to our nation's adversaries. A lot of what we have done over the last couple of days is demonstrated that despite the tyranny of distance with us operating here in Wisconsin and, and our fourth fighter wing brethren operating there in Florida, we can continue to prosecute the fight and integrate it together. The partnership that we've demonstrated in this effort, it's both experimenting and furthering our full spectrum readiness, it's certainly noteworthy and I'm proud to partner alongside them. For our Air Force, projecting forces forward is inherently a combat Air Force and mobility Air Force fight. Integration at the tactical edge is incredibly important. Partnering with Agile Flag and 4th Fighter Wing has been an incredible learning opportunity, not just for us and the mobility Air Forces, but also the combat Air Forces. 19th Airlift Wing has a proud tradition of being ready warriors. For several years now, we've been at the leading edge of operational excellence. From figuring out how to operate in and through radiologically contaminated environments, to figuring out first how to prosecute the fight within a COVID contaminated environment. This next step in our evolution as a wing, as an organization, and as an accelerant for change across Air Mobility Command was fairly natural. We have a team of leaders across the installation committed to full spectrum readiness and committed to making sure that we're advancing we're fighting concepts like lead wing experimentation.